What's going on, Law Fam? Late, man. It's your favorite two, and oh my it's, God. It's, hey, you, it's late at night, man. And we upload. Hey, listen, I figured, I figured, let me get my chamomile tea and figure out why the internet is on fire. The it's internet on is fire. on fire. Kevin? I'll say Kevin. Kevin? 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 Is this? Hey, Cat Williams got the whole internet on fire. You know that we it came to Dysack University. We got to see. And we got Uncle Shay Shay too. Title says Cat Williams calls out Steve Harvey, Kevin Hart, Cedric the Entertainer, and Ricky Smiley. And Ricky Smiley. You know he got the morning show. Yeah, <laughs> so shit. We got to tap into this, man. You know, Cat always been a real nigga, so we really want to see what Cat is talking about. Yeah, man. Where he coming from. Shout out to Uncle Shay Shay, man. Doing Homie. this show, man. Hey, the show lit, man. Send us some of that. Send us some of that, what you got right there. Just that right there. Just that. Let's yeah, sponsor man. Sponsor us, too. Shout out to everybody that's watching right now, <laughs> man. It. This is late night. This is a double upload. We on that. Yeah, this should be a long one. This is a 35 minute. We gonna get right into it, man. Let's, let's just dissect, man. Let's do what we do best. Let's see what's going on. And I needed you to know why I came by. Yeah, I need you to tell us why. People know I don't go everywhere. I'm not interested in talking to people unless it's like a Larry King or somebody of an amazing ilk that I would actually want to go talk to in real life. Okay. Mm. Um, I don't do it so I can sell product and I got things to sell, so let me come talk. Um, you have a great product here, and as a fan base, we love the attention that you spend on the guests. We, we love how much work you've done, how well you know them, how prepared you are. The same Thanks. things that we liked about you in football. <laughs> you brought that on over to here, and that's uh, why it resonates. And the reason I had to come is because you... I ain't gonna lie. When I seen Cat Williams on this couch... Knew it was gonna be some shit. I just knew, I just knew that this episode would be... This is fucking like just this seeing him on here. I just knew I ain't gonna. We ain't gonna over talk through it because we gonna let him get. We gonna yeah. let him rock. But seeing Cat Williams on this platform, I'm like, finally he gets to. So I know he gonna be he able to. Talk. He gonna be able to talk. And this is Colt to though. This Colt told me oh, everything. Bendy. They oh, told bendy. me everything. He said he's serious. Oh yes. Oh, this 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 gonna be a rewatch for everybody. A safe place for the truth to be told. Mm. You know what I mean? Thank you. I and that. I have watched all of these lowbrow comedians come Shit. here and disrespect you in your face <laughs> and tell you straight up lies. <laughs> I'm talking about things that have never been heard in all of black Hollywood. Mm. They feel comfortable sitting here lying to you about it. You gonna set the record straight? Are you kidding me? You let Ricky. When has he never? Set the record straight. Miley, sit here and you said out that mouth, you stole Friday after next, the one I was in. <laughs> I wish all, all of America fumbled a bit when that happened. And, and then he said some stuff that we haven't heard in 100 years in Hollywood. You ain't say nothing. This man told you he had Cat Williams' role. He was going to be Money Mike. Wait. And Cat. Imagine Cat Williams not being Money Mike. Let me Imagine see him being Santa Claus. First of all, let's first of all let's if clap it up. If you've seen the movie, let's clap it up for Santa Claus. He's a great right. fucking Santa Claus, man. But if Absolutely. Santa Claus was Money Mike, I if, don't if, know if, if, if I would have seen the Claus same movie. Was Cat Williams? And Ricky, if Santa Claus was Money Mike, I don't think I would have seen the same fucking movie. Come on, man. Oh, all of you. You playing with a, where was your antennas? Hey, if you watched it. Come on, man. I'm just gonna, we gonna throw that out there. I'm just asking. Williams was gonna be, was gonna be the Santa Claus. Now let's, three quick points. Three quick. You mean in Hollywood, they cast a five foot five black Santa Claus that weigh 145 pounds. That's your story. Your story is the Ricky Smiley that couldn't even do curse words because he had a Christian fan base. Mm. He was gonna play the pimp. Oh. Why you didn't ask him why has he played a woman in more movies than he's played a man? Well, I didn't know he, he shouldn't be able. You wouldn't let a, 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 a athlete that been on steroids talk about one of the greats. Damn sure wouldn't. Ricky Smiley can't act because Ricky Smiley can't act. He told you the story about when the movie came out. Where did he say he watched it? At home. He wasn't even at the premiere. You tell him. He wasn't even at the premiere. 
Because, man, you stole that. Oh, so he can get his name in the same sentence with a great one. It is sad. He was just that bitter when we were shooting it. He told everybody, it should have been my role. Everybody on the scene. Why do you think no cast member has ever said anything? Mm. He couldn't have played that role like you. I thought he, he Sir, was... Sir, no one... Why no... He was with KD? He beat up Terry Crews? Why nobody know this story? You talking about in Hollywood, they switched off roles. You take this and he... What? <laughs> so Ricky, Ricky Smiley what? knows this. It's because... Well, why would he lie? I don't know why liars lie. But I can tell you this. We auditioned in Los Angeles. Yes. I was audition number 201. 200 black comedians auditioned for the role of Money Mike with me. You're saying all 201 of us was auditioning and you had already had the role and had already shot the role in four days? <clears throat> the truth of the matter is the Money Mike in the original script got raped in the bathroom. And that's what Ricky Smiley was okay with. Cat Williams had to take the risk in front of the studios and the cast and our powers that be in his very first movie and say respectfully, humbly, guys, if we're talking about anything else, I have no credibility and I have no pull. But we're talking about comedy, right, where I have all the credibility and all the pull. The problem with Friday After Next is... We're trying to make a classic comedy. Mm -hmm. And this comedy involves a rape. And rape is never funny, no matter who it happens to or what the circumstances are. Mm -hmm. If you would allow me to allow us to do this movie without a black man getting raped in it, I promise you that it will be twice as funny as it would be with him yeah, getting raped. Yeah. And I'm not gonna yeah. lie to you, just with him saying that for y'all who actually watched the shit, that shit was funny as hell. The yeah. the version we got. Yeah, the one we got. I, I am a boy, Damon. Yeah, you're right. Yep. It was funny. Like mm -hmm. I, I I digress. I, I see what it is. Yeah. Cause but it's to like know that, that is movie crazy. yeah to put that in to even have it's that like if the movie could what the be fuck? It's just funny that all the things that behind the scenes, like when you get the movie, you don't get everything. You don't get what it could have been. What it could have been. Now, you know, just to give you, was, just to give you a quick example it. before we jump back in, if you if you look at uh, uh, Dave Chappelle, mm -hmm. he said he was supposed to get snuck out of jail on Blue Street yeah. wearing a dress, and he was like, "Nah, wow." It, I didn't he even know said that. he sat. Yeah, he said he sat in the uh, yeah. dressing room and was like, "No." And it took them like 30 minutes and then they came it, yeah. back like, okay, we reworked it. And he like, you didn't rework it. Yeah. You had an alternate script. You were just pushing back you and I didn't want that shit. Right, right. I'll just say this to give y'all the mm -hmm. common knowledge of what I know. That's it. Let's get it. So considering that's the real story, why would you bring up that story? 35 members of the cast and crew have never brought up that Ricky Smiley was going to play Money Mike. No one ever saw me put on a Santa Claus suit. We got a wardrobe department. They made a Santa Claus suit for me. Why that wasn't in the bloopers? <laughs> and, and here's the other thing. Everything that Money Mike said, Cat Williams wrote. So what Ricky Smiley say on his? Oh, ooh. oh. You shit. can't say my lines. I wrote them. Oh, shit. That's, That's how I already know that I'm gonna be funnier than you. What he told everybody was, Cat Williams, eh, eh, don't nobody know who he is? I'm on the radio. I'm with Steven Said. Everybody know me. That's what he told everybody that would listen to on the set. Mm. That's the truth of the matter. He was so egregious. Not now. Then. What is egregious? Egregious. Egregious Can is we get a, a definition check in the he chat? Was so what egregious. is egregious? Comment section. Egregious. We need the definition now. He was so egregious that, and Hollywood has never heard this in a hundred years. He was so egregious, I put in my contract that I won't work with Ricky Smiley again unless he's in a dress. Mm -hmm. Now, what was Ricky Smiley's next movie? Was it First Sunday? Sunday. First Sunday. Did he wear a dress in it? Mm -hmm. You bet he did. It's in my contract. Why would you put that in your, put it in your contract, Cat? Eh? That's where he's the, a believable actor. Oh, my God. Him and Tyler Perry can't play a man to save their life. Oh, my God. <laughs> they play good women. And I, I like believe that the best actor should be in the best role. 
Oh my god. So that's why because when no we cat shooting missiles, nigga. Oh, this ain't cat, regular. What he say? Uh, what uh cat sound off, nigga. He, he letting it a, out. A safe place for the truth. Is it I believe that the actor should be in the best role. Why that... Tyler Perry get hit too? <laughs> hey, you got it. Yeah, hey. Cat Williams don't he don't hey, you remember the stand up he had, the uh oh, World oh, War Three or whatever? Oh, yeah, no, it's yo. I gotta put the Santa oh. Claus ball back in the oh, front. Don't play. Let me cover her eye. So y'all can know I'm a fill it. No, just like, he don't play. That you responded because he said he was supposed to play Money Mike and you were supposed to play play Santa Claus. An outright lie. Mm. So that he knows is a lie. Mm. So why would he say it? Because he's a liar. Nobody knows <laughs> why liars lie. And that's why I had to come on the program. Cedric did the same thing. Uh -oh. Cedric told you when you asked him, did you steal Cat Williams' joke? Yeah. He said, it don't line up. How it don't line up that I did it on TV in 2018? You came to see me at the comedy store do it in 2019 and then did it on the Kings of Comedy. Like, what doesn't line up? I This is a televised joke that Mark Curry helped me punch up and get to the yeah, level that it was. Clicking. The same Steve that went to go watch Mark Curry do his whole sitcom and then stole everything Mark Curry had. Now, Steve got a sitcom where he the principal and he wear a suit and he... And then he gets this high top fade, making all black men think he got the best lineup in the business. And it's a man unit. Then you ask him, why you not a movie star? I ain't gonna lie. Steve Harvey, high top was crispy. But this my I used thing. to be looking like Romeo. I know Romeo and Bullethead and them used to be looking at him. And I thought, like, how is his line? I thought Steve, <laughs> Steve lineup was at the same prestige as Jalen Rose at one point. It was. It I was thought, better. I thought. And his mustache with that mustache. Until this man just said man unit, I thought he just started receding out of nowhere. Yeah, me too. Cause I thought that was I thought, I thought he was him and Seti Bear had it. Yeah, right. <laughs> I thought it was at the perfect length. I thought him and Seti Bear was like that. A unit is back then. And it's a, a man unit. He was ahead of his time. I didn't even know y'all had man units back then. You know how many niggas in the hood needed that unit? They've been doing it. What it was hit. They've for. been had it. Tyler Perry units don't never hit. No, they don't. Marcus Houston. I want to be a movie star. This is the same Negro that hated on Bernie with this same thing. Not Bernie, man. I, I didn't want to be a movie star. No, you it couldn't is. be a movie star. There are 30,000 new scripts in Hollywood every year. Not one of them asks for a country bumpkin black dude that can't talk good old bookaby and look <laughs> like Mr. Potato Head. There ain't none. You would have to have range. I played a lot of characters, 60 oh, movie shit. roles. I'm not playing Cat Williams in there. What is OBK? OBK, but I'm going to go back because I don't want to miss too much. But OBK, he's is crazy. dead serious. I, I swear to God, he he's ain't laughed serious. once. He's not playing around. This nigga ain't laughing. And I like, time. I'm saying this out right. We saying this out we, right now. Man, we, we like this. Hey, that's that's Uncle Shay Shay. We nephews. Yeah, we, 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 I, we what? Open ears. Didn't we know. Want, we don't want to talk. Didn't know. Black dude that can't talk good old bookaby and look like Mr. Potato Head. There ain't none. You would have to have range. I played a lot of characters, 60 movie roles. I'm not playing Cat Williams in there. I don't know. I don't know, Cat. We might not let you drink anymore the way you, you, I mean, we ain't even got. I'm not fueled by alcohol. Man. I've had a sip mm. less than you. Mm. The truth don't need motivation. I'm just saying I can't let these dudes lie. Cedric's sitting here telling you why he ain't a movie star. He over here look like a walrus. You didn't say nothing. He can't even get his arms off his stomach sitting over here. Why I'm not a movie star. Cat, cat, cat. What? It's a situation. We cat Williams must be stopped. I'm you don't know what I like? I like how he, he do his job. He do. He do. I like how he say what he say, but he still sprinkle. The truth. Well, no, he not sprinkle oh, the, the truth. He, he go right for the truth. He planned to be the truth. He sprinkle his little jokes. Comedy, like comedy in it. So, he can still give you your your buck. In my thing, <laughs> when buck. I listen to this nigga, I yeah. always hear the comedy. Yeah, I'm always, always there. You know what I'm saying? But that's it's, it's like, like it's God, like Dave Chappelle damn, when he do like, thing. He he we will put truth in his like comedy. a profession is a profession. But a walrus on his stomach. He said he can't even get his hands off his stomach. He over there but, like a walrus. But it, he right look at Shannon yeah, Sharp face. Look, he, he yeah, trying not to he, laugh. He can't Nigga, not I'm a laugh, be Cat, Cat Williams. So it's like, oh, it's man. funny. That's but crazy. you still got to hear him. 
at what he's saying. Man, I, 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 love, I love this, y'all. Do y'all love this? All I know y'all love this, man. man. I'm going to let him cook. All this content. For sure, so. Own anything. Remember, when Cedric the Entertainer starts, he's supposed to be singing, dancing, and telling jokes. That's why he's called the Entertainer. Right. We found out he can't sing, can't dance, and doesn't he's write doing jokes. Album. He did four comedy specials. They're so bad, Shannon. They're not available on Netflix or Tubi. Can I say that again for the audience? They're so bad that they're not available on Netflix or Tubi. You don't think so? I was about to Guess say Guess who on Tubi, though? I'm on Tubi. Guess who on Tubi? I'm on Tubi, nigga. Guess who on Tubi? I'm on Tubi. The bottom. Four episodes. Look it up. Lost Twins, we on Tubi. Four, nigga. We on there. Four. I don't know about SETI. Got good roles, too. But we on there. We characters, That's all nigga. That's we gonna say. What Charles did say? We characters. We on Tubi. So. Good, uh, a good comedian? The world doesn't think that, sir, I have 12 comedy specials. He has four specials that are not available on Netflix or Tubi. <laughs> It seems to me, Cat, that you had a lot to get off your chest. No, no. You wanted to set the record straight. Winners are not allowed to allow losers to rewrite history. Mm. I don't say any of these things if my name is not breached by these people on your platform. Mm. They, if you give them a liar a platform to lie, then I, I'm not being messy by saying, hold on, that never happened. It's untrue. And they're Why he sound like Kevin Hart right now? Yeah. I gotta be the yeah. one to say it. Yeah. It's never I happened. Mean, it's, it's not, not true. true. Hey, I thank you, Kat, for being you, but being politically correct at oh, yeah. the same time. Hey, and then, do your, and then listen to the words. He, he got good vocabulary, yes. too. He was Egregious. Spoken. Egregious and breached. Breached. My, My name, name was is breached. breached. Oh! Oh, you do! Oh. Come on, bruh. Hundreds of witnesses for each thing I'm saying. So, let me ask you this. What is your relationship with Steve Harvey, Ricky Smiley, and Cedric the Entertainer as you sit here currently? They, for 30 years, they're a group. These aren't three random guys. The way that Ricky Smiley kept appearing at all of my auditions is because of Steven said he would tell anybody that, listen, they got a gang on that side. They know what it is. They know who the gang is. Why Earthquake not in movies? Because he's illiterate. He can't read. And they found that out when they gave him a show and put the cards in front of him. Like all of these dudes are co-entwined and they share secrets. And this is the age of truth. And, and, and the truth doesn't need to be scared of the fact that people tell lies. Uh, cats on drugs. Where are the stories? Why is there no story of anybody who ever sold a drug to me, did a drug with me, was around me when I was inebriated? I got five daughters. I got five sons. Why would we tell these ridiculous stories? Because it's co competition. You you feel like, well, why comedy, comedy guys can't just get along? Yes. Why, why, why didn't you get along with the other teams you were competing against? If you're a Denver Bronco, why you don't get along with the Cowboys? Something wrong with you but i don't disagree i don't no, just no, like all the no. cowboys cat damn you like this no like that's okay. not hey uncle shay shay yeah. i love you yep but we i ain't love gonna do it. you why but i like what he said yeah. i like what uh uncle shay shay said he said i don't he said i don't disagree with all of them and then that's where it, it comes in where he said no, that huh. he just said i don't disagree with all the cowboys oh, no okay. we're not yeah. doing that yeah uncle no shay you shay. you looking for we're, yeah you're trying to get out don't get out of it. It was a yes or no. Right. But, but I love you because you got a job to do. But it's like, I like how Cat Williams is using, he taking yes. it to sports. Analogy. Analogy yes. can get you through a lot of situations. You, yep, it'll get you Some there. people don't you understand what they, you're saying until you, you put it, it in their ball court. Some people are visual. Some people are. I mean, at the end of the day. They got to have it. What is comedy? Head. Entertainment. Yeah. What is sports? Entertainment. Entertainment. What is movies? Entertainment. All what of it is. is Tennis, bitch. But it's like you said, if you don't understand it in you your field, rivals. it's the same way. Break it down. If I golf, you won't understand golf terms. So I might have to use basketball terms. On me. Or I might have to use whatever terms we to break you, that shit down. And then you will you. understand it. Uncle Shay Shay. On me. But he. But he, I'll he rock with slow. Uncle Shay Shay. Uncle Shay Shay, yeah, you he's a smart slow. man. You know. Oh, he's smart. Damn, where the fucking. Hey! Y'all there? Go 
Who? I got five daughters. I got five sons. Why would we tell these ridiculous stories? Because it's com competition. You you feel like, well, why comedy comedy guys can't just get along? Yes. Why, why why didn't you get along with the other teams you were competing against? Mm. If you're a Denver Bronco, why you don't get along with the Cowboys? Something wrong with you? But I don't disagree. I don't no, disagree. No, All the no. Cowboys, cat damn, you like this? No, that's okay, not. What comedian do you like? Did you play against the team? Yes. I've taken 46 comedians with me on the road. 46. Okay. I'm not the comedian you can give that to. I only put on comedians that are funnier than me. Anybody that ever told you differently was a fat Faison liar. There's nobody yeah, you, like you, me in the business. Faison because just got straight. Faison said that <laughs> giving Netflix said. special is easy. I have 12 specials. Guess how many Faison got? Zero. So Why is he allowed to have conversations about real stand-up people? We do not let people who are on the juice discuss real athletes. Mm. That's all. As a journalist. Mm. That's all. That's all I'm saying. Okay. I don't have, harbor any resentment to any of these entities because I can't be jealous. I've never seen them have anything that I ever wanted. Mm -hmm. If you sign up for their program, you get a light skin, weird face wife that never do an interview. Oh, in man, Listen, in 20 years, won't do an interview. Nobody's ever talked to her and that she's never been interviewed anywhere. Mm. And now understand, I'm not talking about one person. What I just told you applies to seven people. Mm. How they all end up with that. That's part of what you get. I came in this business saying I was going to expose. When I talked about Michael Jackson, when I talked about... They canceled me for these things because why would you talk about another black dude? Race is not where the line is drawn. It's God's side and the other side. Mm. And we don't care nothing about the other side. Period. Period. All of these uh, big dick deviants is all catching hell in... What the fuck you just say? He said... Big deviants. What do you Do you work on deviants? No, I, I heard the deviants part. It was before that. Yeah, but like if you know what a deviant no, is. No, he stuttered and it sounded like he said something else. I thought he said what you think he said. Oh. I think he said it. Oh, you think he said it? Yeah, oh, I thought he, if you put deviants it after it, then it's like, hey. Oh, I thought he then stuttered. They might be like that. <laughs> they might be lame. Like I the, thought dog, the deviants might. I, I thought I thought he stuttered. I didn't know if he meant that. I, I, hey, I'm I laying like, like that. I feel like <laughs> I feel like Pat Williams. I'm, I'm a, a deviant. I feel like I'm he's playing. saying it. Yeah. Like he is it. Okay, okay. I just want to. Get, he you give, know me. Gotta he, be sure. He giving the deviants. They they fly. If it wasn't <laughs> if it wasn't Dissect University, it wouldn't have happened. Yeah, but man. I gotta be sure. I need to know what I'm hearing. I'll end up with that. That's part of what you get. I came in this business saying I was going to expose. When I talked about Michael Jackson, when I talked about R. Kelly, they canceled me for these things because why would you talk about another black dude? Race is not where the line is drawn. It's God's side and the other side. Okay. Talk. And we don't care nothing about the other side. Period. Period. All of these uh, big dick deviants is okay. all catching hell in 2024. Yeah. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. T.G. Jakes, any of them. The, all, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. And, and, and anyone who takes that the wrong way know why they take it the wrong way. Damn, Sharp, did he just get on your ass? Take a look at Yeah, because his head went back. Did he he went just, back like this? Let's pay that. attention you, to mannerisms, y'all. Body language. We not going to skip mannerisms. Sharp kind of and then he said, anybody who? Right after. I'm just. Just, he said, and it ain't. I have to do this for my own survival. I like to look at people. My boy, Cat Williams, is on the end of the couch. With the fin tape. He ain't playing. Not fin tape. Fin, fin tape. The fin the tape. Fin the, fin the truth is the light. Mm -hmm. I have the normal deal. Amen. Amen. Mm. Have me another one. <laughs> have me another one of these. I'm kind of getting on there. All right. Mm -hmm. Chase it with the water. After that, I don't really kind of know where to go. Let me one more time. <laughs> Try, sir. Mm, mm. 
Right. Mm. My nigga's sharp arm is the same size. Because the people want to <laughs> know, well, why did he thing. get blackballed? Yeah, oh, because, because, because in 30 years, I've done nothing but collect information, knowledge, mm -hmm. and your secrets. Mm -hmm. So if you and a man was in a corner doing something you wasn't supposed to be doing. You would tell it. No, somebody come to tell me. Okay. I gather that. I value that. I'll pay for that. Come, tell me. I know so many things I shouldn't know, and they all know it. Mm. They all know it. Why? Because you don't make me the villain. Not the guy that raises black children and ain't never done a hard drug in his life and don't have no stories of doing nobody dirty. And they'll just go out and they'll lie. The, the industry doesn't mess with Cat because he didn't show up for the studio. No studios have ever said that. Look at my IMDb. It will show you that no studio has ever lost money with me on the script. How? That's why I'm saying that's why I can't let Ricky Smiley say he was supposed to play Money Mike because I wrote the words for Money Mike. I designed the hair for Money Mike. I collaborated with the wardrobe department and made outfits to make sure that no one in America would be wearing what Money Mike was wearing. I told them to go get the prowler. I then told them to paint it purple. I told them don't have an actor at playing a pimp. We could get an actual pimp Archbishop Magic Don Juan to play. Like I... I did far too Inspire. much work Inspire. for somebody to come years later and try to tag along just for their own self-aggrandizement. Why didn't Q set the record well, straight? Terry Crews could have set the record straight. Mike Epps could have set the record straight. Why none of them set the record straight? That's what you were supposed to ask him when he told you those lies that but no I one's ever heard. Lie. Right, but he's telling you something no one's ever heard of. Nobody has ever heard. Oh, Matt Aff Ben Affleck and Matt Damon was in a movie, and somebody said, y'all should switch roles. And, like, this is a business. But that's the thing, Kat. <laughs> Normally, when people will give you information, I'm thinking I'm hearing it for the first time, and they're giving information no one else knows or has ever heard. So I'm taking them at face value. These are like, this is like Steve Harvey telling people he used to be homeless. That's my story. That's not his story. Steve Harvey was never homeless. When he, Mark Curry was touring with him 25 years ago, he was making $3,000 a show in cash and doing five shows a week. They, they just tell the stories. This, my, thanks to my wife, I'm where I am. You said that about the first wife. You forget that? You told us it was. Sharp knows something. Because why are you laughing? <laughs> Why is it? Why? Hey, listen. Eric Joke got a little truth to it. Hey, Cat Williams. I don't know kinda, if it's the full truth, but damn. Like I, when I watch Cat Williams through the screen, he like a thesaurus. He a funny dude. I couldn't imagine being sitting across from I'll Cat Williams. Tears. And we both having a drink, I'm and I'm talking tears. to. I would be. And it's going on my channel. I I'm applaud crying. Shannon Sharp. I'm crying. For keeping his composure. Sitting there staring right at Captain. Not Lee. lying. Like, I'm I crying. Was right there, I would literally be like, I'm <laughs> dying. <laughs> but it's like when you're hearing something so can with so much conviction, you yeah. gotta just listen to yeah, it. It'd be like, tough. I gotta hear what he's saying. It's tough. So it's just crazy. I mean, as the interviewer, I'm sure all y'all watching this right now, y'all y'all got a bonus to have us with this is probably right. crazy. Kinda but crazy. this interview, everybody gotta watch this because this, this is wild. just something to listen to. Man, shit, turning into some shit for sure. Touring with him 25 years ago, he was making $3,000 a show in cash and doing five shows a week. They, they just tell the stories. This, my, thanks to my wife, I'm where I am. You said that about the first wife. You forget that? You told us it was her. Then you went and married somebody else that think like a man. Like, what are you oh talking God. about? They just, they think they can rewrite history. Oh the, uh, uh, Guy Tory did a beautiful special about the comedy store and Fat Tuesday where he said that Steve and Cedric and Kevin Hart and Tiffany Haddish came through there and made all lies. Steve and Cedric never performed at the comedy store at all. Tiffany was only seen at the Lab Factory. In 15 years in Hollywood, no one in Hollywood has a memory of going to a sold-out Kevin Hart show. There being a line for him ever getting a standing ovation at any Why comedy he club. He already had his deals when he got here. Have we heard of a comedian that came to L.A. and in his first year in L.A. he had his own sitcom on network television and had his own movie called so playing that he was leading mm. no we've never heard of that before that person or since that person mm. what do you think a plant 
is. Maybe people. I have no. Let me get this straight. <laughs> by by Cat Williams' definition, at this very moment, Kevin Hart is an industry plant. He's a plant. This is what he says. So I'm like, what? Because his story was so authentic. So it's like, oh, it's shit. crazy because it's like, what do you think a plant is? It's crazy. It's like you doing, and it's like, but I with me I, knowing I no know truth, it's like, I don't, we don't know shit. I don't know shit. But Can't tell you from no. his perspective, but what of I'm seeing uh, comedians come up through the ranks, it does, it's, it's the like, a, it's like a how. Yeah, because you would know everybody how did the scene, that? or you would know the flow. Like he said, what he yeah. said, I've never seen him get a standing up. Like it's people you've seen, you've seen like Chris Tucker, if you Bernie Mac, yeah. the crowd is. They are even Cutting the up. Wayans, the Wayans brothers, amazing Cutting up, legends. Yeah. Cutting up. So what he's saying is, he's a person I would have seen you. I would have seen. I w it would have been. How did you not? If that, basically, right? How did you not have that? But that. But then. But then I always take myself out because it's like LeBron. LeBron was a. LeBron came in a hundred million. What a did the world ain't never see that for real? It was people who went high school, but LeBron, that motherfucker, he was different. a different type of. So it's like motherfucker different. Uh, Respectfully, I don't so know. It always be I'm not unicorn. in that room, but kept but Cat Williams, he here to tell us. He his here side. to tell but, yeah. his side. So it's like you can always see I it. Just, don't get it fucked up, y'all. Y'all can always you can spot a unicorn. Yeah, you can see it. It's like Moray. All right. <laughs> 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 Yeah. It's like more race. He's a jigster tall with a kickstand. That shit hit you us never know, out of nowhere. They you never know. For real. Playing that he was leading. No, we've never heard of that before that person or since that person. Mm -hmm. What do you think a plant is? Hmm. Maybe people don't understand the definitions of these words. Damn, why do we get serious like that? He just did Man. his documentary with Chris Rock where he shows you that his whole upbringing in comedy was on the East Coast. Yeah, it was. So how simultaneously was he here in Los Angeles doing the same thing? Mm. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. And I, I, I hate to seem like a petty individual for picking apart lies, but Jesse Smollett gonna keep lying until you say we don't believe you. Mm. Like it's important in the checks and balances of the universe that liars not get to make complete narratives for themselves. Are you not afraid about being blackballed again? These are some power people. What powerful. do you mean again? These people are not powerful. Satan can't create anything. That includes blessings for his people. That's why, do you know what the number one job of somebody that sold their soul in Hollywood is? What? Is to act like it didn't happen. Mm. Hmm. They all mm. do the same job. Listen, I'm not saying anything. I'm just mm. like, what he's saying is almost like he preaching. And if you ever been to church, when you be in church, you go, mm. Mm. If it resonates mm. to you, it resonates to you. So that's all I'm saying. Why do you think Gary Owen can't cross over and he already white and been in comedy for 25 years? Damn. If what I say ain't the case. It's a cabal. It's a it's a consortium. They they rock with who they rock with, and they don't with who they don't. But I'm not scared of being the competition any more than you were when you lined up uh, uh, across from a superior team. Yeah, on paper they're a better team. Right. They have all the assets and resources, and we don't. But let us get on the line, boy, boy, and see if that factors in. I, I guarantee you it won't. Wow. Man. Because Shannon Sharp got to be a different person than that other person. Absolutely. And he always was. That doesn't change when I change teams. That remains the same. That's how a legacy is built. So all of these shortcut takers, I, I was, they canceled me for talking about Harvey Weinstein before the thing came out. But he offered to suck my penis in front of all my people at my agency. Damn. What am I supposed to do? He did all of that. I'm thinking I'm the only black person on the script. I get there, it's three other black guys on there. Woo. Huh. So you wonder what they did to <laughs> I told him no. What y'all do? <laughs> that's crazy. Now you, you ain't even gotta you may ain't even gotta that's self what? Hey. What? Hey. What? Hey. Cat Williams said all of those other shortcut takers. What did you do to get here? That's what Cat Williams said. What, what did you do? 
He said it wasn't just me. I got there to where I was supposed to be, and all y'all was here. What did y'all do to get here? That's, That's what he said. That's crazy. That is, you hurt. First of all, let me bring it back because I don't think y'all get it. Yeah, Shannon get said it first. Like, what? Fuck, fuck what Kat said. Shannon asked. One of all my people at my agency. What am I supposed to do? He did all of that. I'm thinking I'm the only black person on the script. I get there, it's three other black guys on there. Woo. Huh. So you wonder what they did to get there. <laughs> I told him no. What y'all do? <laughs> Shannon said it first. Right, right, right this out is of why head. when I right walk in a room, heads go down. Behind my back, I'm nothing. I'm oh. just a regular old comedian that's bitter oh. and jealous. But and in my jealous. face. No, no, no. Oh, this The king has walked in and they have to respect it only because I've not taken the shortcuts. I've not been funded. They pay you to not talk about things they don't want you to talk about. They tell you that themselves. I can't do that because I. Steve told you that he stopped doing stand up because he has seven TV shows. The only problem is when he stopped stand up, he didn't have those seven TV shows. He stopped stand up because he got in a comedy battle called the Championship of Stand Up Comedy with one Cat Williams in Detroit in front of 10,000 people and lost because Cat Williams said he was actually bald and that was a wig. And I went in and that's why he couldn't do stand up anymore imagine him coming to tell you another story where he got so big and it was bernie and them's fault because they wanted to be movie stars oh that's bogus yeah, rest in peace bernie mac man i don't have no clear Real intellect legend. that he said that about bernie but if he did bro that's, that's bogus, bogus ass man. shit because bernie i ain't gonna lie i don't know for for me with bernie just my my experience bernie did it all bernie like, mac just was, was the he real... was just dope he was the king he was just dope it was the kings of comedy but bernie mac he was the King he was the shit. one. He, he was, was the king dope. of that. He was dope, man. Bernie Mac just it's just like as soon as he get on the stage, it's just like like him before and he even speak. Him and Martin had already. that effect. Yeah, the, the whole Def Comedy Jam, him, Chris Tucker, yeah, Dave Chappelle, some niggas out there who just really had that. Yeah, shit. but it's like Bernie Mac when he get on the stage, it's just like yeah, it's crazy. And then he is just every Bernie Mac show. That's what we grew up on gas, for real. Like gas, just gas. Bernie Mac was the goat. Gas, gas, gas. No cap, gas. What? You called Ocean Eleven to get that nigga's part. What do you mean you didn't want to be a movie star? So on the behalf of Bernie, I, I would have to say what I have to say. Have you ever been? Have right? you ever been on tour with any of these guys? The guy, I, every guy I mentioned to you is not funny out there in real life. Mm. So <laughs> no. Faison's never done his own tour in 30 years. Steve Harvey don't do stand-up no more. Cedric doesn't write. I'm sorry, he Jesus doesn't Christ. write. Ricky Smiley has been playing the same old black woman forever. Like, you can't get a young fan base with that. Like, you gotta be doing karaoke. <laughs> you gotta look at the back of Shannon Sharp neck. That's yeah. what i Couple hot dogs. Hey, chill. The rolls on the back of... Um Neck is like, like I can't what? believe this shit. I'm hearing this. Shannon over there, like I'm not participating. You know how much moisture is on them cards he got that he's flipping through to ask the question. Yeah. Them things is soaked. He trying to figure it out. <laughs> look at look at Cat Williams' face. He, he like, feel liberated. Yes, cause the truth. No, I'm just look. I'm see this where y'all get up. Yeah, they turn it on us. We be chilling. <laughs> but I'm not saying it's the truth. I'm right. saying like he feels set free, and they said it's only one thing that can set you free. So I'm just <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Don't put it on us, nigga. We I mean, this cat. We this cat have, show. Hey, it's gonna be a long year. Man, it's gonna be a long year. You can watch. You can not watch, but we gonna be well, here, about motherfucker. Be, yeah, it's about to be. What it's you time. Want. Oh, it's time. This is, you, this is what you want. It's time, bitches. <laughs> On the country to make that work. Right. And he is. Okay. But I'm a stand-up comedian. This is my 19th 100 city tour. Mm. I'm not gonna have a conversation with these lazy bums that'll take a shortcut at any point. Yes, it's easier for you to juice than to get in the gym, mm. but you don't get to bring that body in here talking crazy. Talk about how good you look. What? It's crazy, right? 
No, no, there's too many comics out there that are putting their the life on the line to tell these they jokes, taste man. They okay. taste <laughs> Let's get to your upbringing. We're going to circle back and we get some. Uh, Look, right. Right. For the King of Comedy. It was in 28. Did the niggas in the background just say, they, no, we not? They chimed in. They said, no. Look at Santa Did face. you see when Cat put his drink down? He said, he said, and then we going to get to the up breeze at all. Oh, and then they was like, oh. They said, no, we not. We are not. Let's You stay know when here. the conversation. Look get, at Shannon face. Do you know when the conversation get warm? Yeah, it's, it's, it's just he up. Shannon like, let's get off of that the, the stove. Man, and he like, no. He's like, no, 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 no. We got to stay. No, 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 we no. Could you imagine if somebody upstairs <laughs> said, press play right now. Don't talk. Press play. I could never, but I with you, they Uncle both Shea looking Shea. at the dude. Uncle Shay Shay, I fuck with you. I yeah. swear to God. He gotta, but it's a dude over there. But right. And he not playing. He there. Now let's go back, because I want to make sure that's exactly what happened. Man. He like, what? Conversation with these lazy bums that'll take a shortcut at any point. Yes, it's easier for you to juice than to get in the gym, but you don't get to bring that body in here talking crazy. Talk about how good you look. What? Hmm. No, no, there's too many w comics out there that are putting their life on the line to tell these jokes, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's get to your upbringing. We're going to circle back and we get some. Uh -huh. I want to protect him real quick because you had said for the Kings of Comedy, it was in 2018, 2019, but did you mean 1999? Because it came out in 2000. So I just want to make no, sure. No, no, no. So what I meant to say was remember, he said. I couldn't do stand-up anymore. I had seven TV shows. I say he didn't have any of those TV shows at the time. I know, you talk about, you talk about Cedric. Joke still from Cedric. Yeah, Cedric. Oh, okay, you so, said that okay. 2018, 2019, but it came out in 2000, so I just want to make sure. You okay, no, 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 no. What comes out in 2000? The, the, the original Kings of Comedy. Right. My, I'm on BET's Comic View, and they're using this as the commercial in 1998. Okay. That's why I'm saying... Yeah. So if I yeah. So if I yeah. said the date's wrong, yeah. So yeah. let's go ahead and clear that up. Okay. You said yeah. Okay. I had Cedric on here and I asked him about the joke stealing and yeah. he said the timeline doesn't add up. Correct. To your to to that point, you say. Right. So he thought that I was just a no name comedian and that he could take this joke and nobody would know. Right. The issue was that I had already done this particular joke on BET's Comic View twice. Right. It had done so well on BET's Comic View that they had made it part of the commercial. Mm -hmm. So part of the commercial of make sure you tune in to BET was you seeing commercial. me doing this joke. Right. And this joke is one of those jokes in comedy where you set it up and it takes a little longer to set it up. It takes about three minutes. But then you're just hitting them with jokes after right. that because you don't have to set it up. Right. Uh, Mark Curry had already helped me work on this joke because I thought it was good because I was getting a standing ovation on it. He had me go back in the lab to help me craft it to be an even more powerful joke. So this is not just a random joke. This is my very best joke and it's my last joke and it's my closing joke. Okay. 1998, I'm doing this joke. It's on Comic View. Cedric comes to the comedy store. He watches me in the audience. He comes backstage. He tells me what a great job I did and how much he loves the joke. Two years later, he's doing that as his last joke on the Kings of Comedy. And he's doing it verbatim. He's just changed my car into a spaceship. I really I'm going back to have to, joke. we have to find, I gotta find a joke. that joke. Because I'm sick of hearing. He said we joke. We got to find that joke. He said joke so many times that I was like, you know what? I need to know I'm what gonna joke find it was. this fucking joke. I, I and I know where to find it. I'm going right. to the Kings of Comedy, Comedy. Yeah. in the year 2000, yep. and I'm looking at Cedric's last joke, and joke. I better hear about a fucking spaceship. I gotta hear the joke. I gotta hear Cat Williams' joke first. Yeah, yeah. So I can Shit, understand. I can hear it in any order at this point, but I wanna yeah, hear it. Yeah, but I do wanna hear him say it, because yeah. it kinda remind me of like when Soldier Boy was like, Drake, Took my whole tell me. Oh, I mean, it's really going on? Drizzy, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta hear the joke. What's the joke, but, man? Okay, I, we gotta find out the joke. Oh me. How about did and how much he loves the joke? 
two years later, he's doing that as his last joke on the Kings of Comedy. And he's doing it verbatim. He's just changed my car into a spaceship. Him and Steven already apologized for me, so I gave him a pass for a decade. As I stand before you, Shannon. Mm. I would have bust Cedric's stomach. <laughs> <laughs> there was nothing that would have kept me from one of these in, in that patch right there. Hey, wait a minute. I'm, I Look, I'm going to say this respectfully. Man, don't ever be like in nobody's face and think they won't hit you in your stomach. The stomach? Because that's all that's on his mind. Do you? Stump, the stomach is The stomach is shot will change your life, buddy. A lot, <laughs> a lot of people who's watching this video right now thought he was going to say the head. Niggas, he said, I would have busted. I would have bust Cedric's Cedric stomach. <laughs> he said, "One of these to the pack. There's nothing stopping me from giving you one, one of these man. to the to the patch. Hey, crazy. protect your stomach. All 2024. Cat Williams punch me somebody in my will stomach. Bust your stomach. I ain't gonna lie. You will go to that hat. Right he got on is coming off. You better grab something. I'm gonna be like cat. It's either that or the floor. The stomach is crazy. Stomach, and man, people don't. But that is the frustration. <laughs> Nigga didn't even want to hit him in the face, That's why I'm bro. glad that Cat Williams got his turn. He didn't want to hit him in the because face. Because it's like, ow, oh, I would have... Mm. I would bust Cedric's stomach. I ain't gonna lie. I would like to see Cedric. No, I ain't gonna promote, but if it was Cedric and... A boxing match? Versus him and Cat I Williams? Pay. i go. Would you... What, what What's pay. your over-under spread? My over-under spread? Like, how many rounds by what and who? Seti by... Said lose by 45 seconds. I feel like they're gonna be wrestling. I feel like it's gonna be they gonna start wrestling. I feel like they gonna start off swinging and then and then Cedric gonna grab him. Okay, if he grab him, then I got Cedric. He gonna choke him out. Winning. Yep. By TK. Second round. I mean by, second round by Bear Hug. Yeah, he gonna choke him. Or if he get around said net. <laughs> now if they got a box, I got Cat Williams, fifteen seconds in knockout by stomach bust. I feel like even if they box. They're going to end up wrestling. No, I mean, like, they separating that shit. He ain't finna okay, submit, then, my then, nigga. Then, if he submit, Cat Williams, <laughs> I'm leaving. And I'm getting my money back. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Why would you downplay me like that? Why did I give you a pass if you were just going to lie? And so that's what I'm saying. Like, they're all a group. Cedric, Steve, Ricky, they've been a group. Everybody knows that. I need they've Bobby, Ricky, aligned. Mike, what and and there are these alliances in comedy, I'm and if you stand them against them, them, then they sometimes have a problem. But we don't let that change the content because that's all you know me for is that I'm quite likely to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. So help me God. Now I'm reading. So help me. I like that. Cat Williams won Cedric the Entertainers and Heiser Bush best L best Los Angeles. Comic award. You a troll. Did you win that award, <laughs> one cat with you? He a troll. He a troll. <laughs> it's, a yes or no. it's, not a a troll. it's a question that probably should have been asked to Cedric the Entertainer. I'm asking you, I got you here though. I know. I couldn't <laughs> believe Cedric didn't get asked that question. <laughs> you still a dude's joking to give him an award and then ten years later you don't know nothing about it. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> All right, but I but I promise you this. What? If he sees me again before he sees you, mm. he'll be talking different when you see it. That's for certain. That's the difference. That's what these comics understand, is that I'm not doing nothing for clout. I don't even recognize clout. But eventually, the Lord is going to let me and you be in one hallway. A lot of these dudes go... Kevin Hart done went 25 years without ever being in the same building with me at the same time. What, so what, if what? I go in the building, he walk out. You've never seen us in the same building ever in 25 years. Like, it's like that. <laughs> Why? I'm just trying to think. Because I remember this movie called School Dance. And it had the Rangers in it. They were jerking and shit. And I know Kevin Hart was in it. Mike Epps was in it. I guess was it? Yeah, he was the principal. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Hart was I'm a, with Mike Kevin Hart was a a crip or something. 
Oh, that when he was that gang member. Yeah, with thing. Him. Like, yeah, that went viral. Blood, 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 that blood. meme. Yeah, I remember that. I know. He was the one who said that is a baby. That is a Slavic baby. Oh, he was in from it? the mountains of Caucasus. But I don't think they was ever in the same room. But I was just thinking if y'all filmed the movie, maybe. But now that I think about it, it was Mike Epps. That's probably why Mike Epps and Kevin Hart, when they got into it, yeah. it was like, damn, you've been at my house because they made that movie. Yeah. So I'll leave it there. But I, I had to think. I just paused to think. But hey, you want to know something years. that's crazy that I got out of all this? Like what they said? Mm -hmm. Why do all of us humans think that comedians just should get along? Because they like, But I think everybody thinks Being about funny makes people think, think you a bitch. I think that in everything, be not honest. even that, comedians, you can be an NBA player. You sports think all that show. sports players, you think they all get along? You think they you think all like doctors? Like, you and, think this shit is all love? Isn't it not? And it's not. If you had to talk to industry. every doctor, doctors would be like, oh, he don't even know how to do heart surgery I'm like me. I'm rid of these. Yeah. Undo it better. I'm tired of dealing with his patients that he don't actually help. Yeah. This is like how us as humans, we look at sharks and be like, oh, they all sharks. No. Imagine if a shark. Be like, get the fuck out of my neighborhood. They can't. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> it's all, it ain't just we one of us. All it's coexist, all of us. But we trying. That's the it's the world, man. Yeah, no, I just but I that's how we feel though. We feel like, oh, he should, but mm -hmm. Kevin should love cat. Look at cat face. Look do at cat look face. Love? Do we look love? Do by we look his like family? Love? Yes. Why? Yeah. Because I'm really the product. It's not what you think. I am never under the influence of anything. I'm always in my right mind. I'm always a physical specimen, and when you see me, I'm much, much bigger than you had thought. I have far less play in me than you would like. And I'm relentless. I'm out there. I'm still, to this day, I play 11 games of basketball with a 20-year-old. The record is 92 and 6. Hmm. This is just in the yard, just to the rack, just cause you work out cat, y'all mean a cat. I see you play football. I don't know why, but I would love to just I I would just love to just insert Charleston White on that couch. Man, it would them. be a great interview. Like I want it to be that. I want Shannon Sharp and I want I think Cat Williams and and Charleston White to be all together at once. They have to get a perspective. Charleston White can just sit in and listen to what they're talking about. I want Charleston White to interview Cat Williams. Yes, that's what I was going to say. Uncle Shay Shay can leave. But Charleston but, and White. Not in a disrespectful Charleston way. Charleston like, White. I think that would be dope. Interview Cat Williams. Yep. Them too. Ask everything on your mind because I know Charleston ain't going to stay an interviewer for more than five minutes. Oh, no, he's not. It's going to be a great video. Viral. <laughs> I can't. Uh, not to the gym. You don't work at the gym? You do push ups, sit ups? I, my whole life, it was um, it was just push-ups and sit-ups only. I would do like um, 100 push-ups a day. Just I thought you were going to say 1,000. No, no, no. <laughs> because this is literally every day. Right. This is not for the, yeah, for the gram. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, uh, literally 100 a day. <laughs> I and I would do push-ups, and then I tore both my rotator cuffs. And so it was only thanks to golf that I was even able to get my... You were golfing now? Back. I, I've been a golfer for... Quite some time. My short game is impeccable. I, I I can't get you but but two and some change off of the um the off the tee, but I'm still I'm 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 still coming in for par guaranteed. Are you playing for the tips? Uh no. I've I've found that you don't get anything for that. <laughs> it seems like it seems very ego maniacal. <laughs> they go, hey cat, for free you can go further back. <laughs> hey, what? Wait a minute, does it still count the same? <laughs> hey, I'm up at the ladies' tee. Don't tell me my pronouns. <laughs> On the golf course, I'm she, her, him, them, and they. <laughs> whoever, whoever in the front tee. We're, I know we're joking. We're having a great conversation. But you did win the award. How did the award help your career? It had to help some cat. Nope. No, nope. I didn't remember it. It happened to you. Just said it. Set. How can Cedric give you an award that was worth something? <laughs> Everything Cedric and Ricky Smiley ever been in got canceled for not being funny. Oh my God! Ricky sat here and told you that they cut him out of every movie he did. 
They always had a reason. Like, <laughs> that's why I'm funny because I'm a happy person. I laugh all day long. I can't Man, even boy. imagine <laughs> the misery of these bums. <laughs> Just to not be good at what you do, not work hard at what you do, but have to act like you the best at what you do. It is crazy. It's crazy. But they be touring. Wait a minute. Day. Think about what he I said. I hate Shannon Sharp. Yeah, he, he's a he. He, he, <laughs> he knows. I like what you. Shannon Sharp. He said, but they be touring. He is the devil's yeah, advocate. Which he gotta do. Yeah, it's his job. I applaud it. No great interviewer will Whatever. ever be a great yeah. interviewer I if they do not Shannon play Sharp. the devil's advocate. Shannon Sharp gotta do, do it. Do you understand? If you agree with the person you are interviewing, you get no more content. No, you gotta ask. You like Willie Kelly in the place. right now. He's he's in the he's he's doing this. No. A reason Cat Williams is where he's at, dog, no. because he know. No, that man said, is, I he, can't he imagine know. not being good at something, yeah. but waking up and having to act like I'm the best at what I do. It's that a task. Funny it's a job, shit, bro. It's a real job. It's fucking hilarious. Like, it's definitely hilarious. Like you have no shit. nothing towards it. You yeah, got it, but you, but you don't it. got it. Yeah. And you gotta act like you're the best. Yeah. That's funny as hell. That's funny. You doing like a hundred shows a year? That's me. <laughs> he said, that's me. <laughs> I don't run into none of them. Mm. That's what I'm saying. If you a phase I love fan, you mean you've been a fan of him for 32 years, you still waiting on him to do his first special? You mean to tell me if Steve Harvey, your favorite comedian, you mean you've been waiting for him to do stand-up for 15 years now? Sick. I mean, Steve got a, got a, a lot of other DL, DL's still out there. None of those irons matter to stand up. Who cares that they wrote a plaque card for you to do Family Feud on? Like, you're, so you're successful because we're surprised you can talk for a living and it's entertaining that you're going to say some funny country things. But not a writer. Right. Not a writer. When you got in the stand up, was crossing over, was doing TV, was doing movie, was that a, was that a part of it? You like, okay, I'm gonna do, I, I'm doing stand up. Okay, next next the the next progression is TV movies. Throughout throughout the history of stand up, sir, that's that's the goal for all of us. That's how it goes. That's why when you hear these dudes talking about, oh, I didn't want to be a movie star. You just know it's disingenuous. Like, what are you talking about, dude? Yeah. Oh no, no. I just wanted to do a game show. Right. What? <laughs> are you sure? Are you sure? Because I thought you did Mark Curry's show over after he had just done hanging with Mr. Cooper. Mm. Why would you do all man. of that man stuff that he did on his show on yours? Ooh, wait a minute, Cooper. Cooper. Yeah. Cooper. I ain't gonna lie, Cooper. Coop did do what he did. Cooper was, he was Cooper. doing that. Cooper was that. Mr. Nigga. Coop was Mr. Shout Coop. Shout out to Cooper, man. <laughs> Shout out to Mr. Cooper. Real ones know about Cooper. Yeah, you gotta know. You probably ain't watching this video. Y'all don't know about them. Y'all don't know about them comedians I ain't gonna say that. today, man. I think the audience is different on this video. Y'all might do. The niggas who watching this know the about The real Cooper, ones know man. about Coop. Y'all know about Cooper. Sinbad and them. Man. Come on, man. And you know Steve. Do you know Steve? Yeah, y'all know the Bill Bellamy. You know Hightower shit. Y'all yeah. know them people, you man. Sound the cool. And then do the dude stand up. <laughs> you go on the road, and then you never put Mark Curry on your show or nothing. Like, if you don't say anything, these dudes will run over you. I don't know if you know how bullies operate. I but do. If you don't stand up for yourself, there really is nothing they won't do. Right. So. Do you consider yourself? A king of comedy? After Bernie left, them same three guys I'm telling you about, the kings. Yeah. Right? Because DL is the greatest. Yeah. Do no DL slander gets tolerated. Um, but they came to me. I was supposed to be the fourth king. I got the offer. Then what happened? But I turned it down. Why? Because you shit on Bernie. Mm. And I know the truth. Mm. You think I'm going to let you shit on Bernie and then come get me? I'm the next king? Fuck you.